what's up you guys welcome back to my channel sorry for disappearing i actually just got a new puppy so she has been keeping my hands full i have not been able to do a single thing because i have to watch this girl so um sorry for not posting and sorry if posting for a little while is going to be sparse i definitely am going to try my best to get as much content out there as possible I have had this video recorded for a little while now and I meant to post this earlier but I'm just now getting to the voiceover um, so this video is, is a little bit late Joslove uh, reached out to me and they allowed me to test out their drill which is what I'm gonna be showing you guys here so before I get started please give this video a like if you like it and please subscribe and let me show you what this drill entails. Okay, so here are the contents of this box. Um, as you can see, it comes with instructions and it also comes with this drill bit, which you don't typically get in other sets. You'll normally just get the standard set of bits that comes with pretty much every drill, but this one comes with this ceramic bit, which is really nice. And then everything that typically comes in a drill you'll get here so you'll get the attachment for the side you'll get this little stand to hold the handpiece this cord will attach the handpiece to the actual box and then these are the standard drill bits that you always get we have the charger here and we have the actual handpiece which is really nice it does have a little bit of weight to it surprisingly um, it's a little bit heavier than the one that I'm using currently, but that's okay. As you can see, it is a lock and unlock system here, which I really like. I don't like having to pull it out. It just feels a little bit more secure when I have this lock option. By the way, you can find this drill on Amazon, so I will make sure to link that in the description. And Walmart also carries Joss Love, so if I see that they carry it there, I will make sure to link that as well. Okay, so here is the actual box. As you can see, I got the white color, which I absolutely love. It also comes in a black and a pink as well. This drill does have a dial here, so you can, you can raise or lower the speed of the drill as you need. Um, and this does go up to 35,000 RPMs. As you can see, it does have an LED screen, so that is really nice. It will show you how fast you're going. It also has the forward and reverse option, and it has a pause option as well, which my other drill didn't have, so that's really nice. And then of course you have the port to attach the handpiece. As you can see here, this is where you will charge the device. And then you also have these little sockets here where you can attach the holder for the handpiece. And you can put this on either the left or right side, just depending on what you want to do. Oh, and by the way, the box itself is actually really light. It's lighter than the handpiece, I believe. Um, and it's actually lighter than the current drill that I'm using as well. Here I'm attaching the handpiece to the box. I really like this cord here because it's actually shorter than the one that I currently have so it doesn't get in my way as often. And I am just showing you here how loud the drill is. It is very quiet. Even all the way up, the volume is very minimal. When it came to inserting the drill bits, I found this a little bit weird that when you put them inside of the component, it goes all the way down. And that doesn't happen with my other drill. As you can see here, it literally went all the way down. Um, and only some of them did that. So I think it just depends on the length of the drill bit. But in order to use it efficiently, I just lifted it up a little bit. That way I can get the bit to sit flush on my nail instead of having it at an angle. As far as the vibration goes, it is very, very minimal. After I used the drill in this video, I didn't find that my hand was, you know, like sore or I can feel like the after effect of the drill if you know what I'm talking about. My other drill, I can definitely feel that after a while of using it. The vibration kind of makes my hand uncomfortable, so this one did not do that, so I absolutely love that part. 
I wanted to just show you a quick comparison to the old drill that I've been using. As you can see, it is much smaller and it is a lot more comfortable to hold in my hand. It is a lot easier to store and very much easier to work with. They both have the little clip at the back so you can hook it up to your belt loop or wherever you want. On the old drill, I do have the forward and reverse button on the side, whereas the Joss Love drill, everything is on top, which I like that everything is all in one area. As far as the hand pieces go, Joss Love's hand piece does have a little bit more weight to it. And both of these drills, I believe, are about the same price. You can find them both on Amazon and they both go to 35,000 RPMs if I'm not mistaken. So they're relatively comparable, but I definitely like the Joss Love drill better. I'm just gonna be demonstrating really quick using the drill. I am not very good at using e-files and so I wanted to just kind of speed through this. It's not a tutorial. Um, I just want to kind of show you guys how it works and just see it in action. So yeah, don't judge my technique if you see that I'm doing something wrong. And here is the final outcome. I did pretty well and I think the cuticles look very clean. I definitely do recommend this drill. I absolutely love how it works, all the components it comes with, especially that extra drill bit. That was a really nice addition. And also this drill is just super affordable. So if you're just starting off or you're just looking for a affordable drill, definitely check this one out. That is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me as always. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye.